Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I install this NRC Fender Eliminator kit on my uh, KTM 790 Duke. Black. Keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. Get rid of this hideous fender in the back and install nice and tidy, tucked in fender uh, eliminator kit with my license plate. Just bought this Duke 790 a week ago and there are a few things that I want to take care of. So I started the other day with uh, replacing my uh, mirrors, those elephant ear mirrors that I had before and put uh, these CRG arrow mirrors which are very very nice very look really nice really cool next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this uh, silly looking fender it's it's a nice bike it's got a got nice silhouette but profile looking at it just doesn't look right so got the NRC fender eliminator kit gonna install it right now so I searched the web there aren't too many uh, options out there right now at this stage uh, but I did find this nice uh, NRC kit. This is what it uh, pretty much uh, looks like. I picked it up, I think, uh, from Revzilla. Check uh, check out uh, the bottom of the description. I have a little link to uh, to the item itself. This is what it looks like. So for ver with a very big struggle, I was able to get it back on. The provided uh, screws that they give are too short, and this uh, lip doesn't let uh, doesn't let it to go through through uh, one of the openings over here. So I used my bolts, and these are too short as well. So this whole thing comes out crooked. I'm not too happy. I'll have to stretch it out and fix it a little bit. Uh, that's it. Connecting the wires, signal lights. Now we'll go over to the plate light. So that's it. What that's what it looks like. Right now, I'll start it up. See if it's all working. Then I'll finish this alignment over here. See when you see from the side. It's not nice because the way they fabricated the top plate, they made it a little bit too big. So it's actually touching the plastic over here of the seat. So either uh, they should have uh, milled this or, or, or make this a little bit thinner so it, it fits and can actually uh, go a little bit that way. Uh, 
or what I'll do is I'll just bend this down a little bit so it's aligned and parallel to that one. But for now, let's see if it's working. Are the running lights working? Left turn. Very nice. Right turn. Nice. Now brakes. So it's working, got it to work. It wasn't uh, too complicated, but I must say the, f the, the small finishes were uh, not accurate here. The, the bolts, the screws that they provided were too short. The, like I showed you before, they, they were too uh, thick in the top, didn't fit through their own, their own uh, signal uh, plate. And this top uh, plate is not, uh, is not uh, shade properly it's literally you can see it's literally touching over here and over here so it's it's forcing the thing to bend down got it right with a screwdriver put some force into it and dropped the lower one a little bit down so now they're parallel looks much much better and uh i'm actually very happy gonna tidy up uh, all these loose ends over here and clean up that's it at this stage, I'd like to thank you for uh, actually watching, sticking around with me close to 600 uh, viewers. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this, give it a like, share it with other people. Uh, stick around, and tomorrow we'll be riding uh, up uh, New York State. Bye-bye.